Back with Sergeant Shane Hawley and Ask the Edmonds Cop, and we're talking about another incident at Walgreens, right? Yeah. Hmm. Not all crime happens at Walgreens, I no, promise. No, we want to make sure we don't yeah. leave that impression, but it is kind of an interesting coincidence. Yeah, you're very safe going there, yeah. but it, yeah, you know, things happen. So, okay. and these just happen to be um, the two that I came up with that we had some videos and some photos for and that right. kind of stuff. So, okay. um, and the and with people that we don't know. So. Okay. Um, this is from December 14th, and this happened overnight, about 1.45, 1.50 a.m. in the morning. So while everyone's home asleep, burglars are on the prowl. Um, now, we've talked about burglaries before, so just a reminder, most commercial burglaries happen overnight. Most home burglaries happen during the day. So when I say burglars are on the prowl, they're really looking for businesses to break in. Right, because there's nobody there. Because there's nobody there. Same thing they, with they your house. Yeah, they don't want you to be there, which is why they do homes during the day. Yes, and, correct. Yes, okay. So about 1.50 in the morning, um, they break out a window and reach through and grab several bottles of alcohol. So there was a display. They were avail able to just kind of reach in through the window, so they didn't actually get into the store like full body physically. Um, however, it's still considered a burglary because they entered the building by putting a body part in and removing property out. Okay, um, So we have some video from the store. We also have some video from a nearby business, the car wash next door. Yeah. Um, the video is not great, but we're hoping that maybe somebody says, yeah, I thought it was kind of weird. So-and-so ended up with 15 bottles of alcohol all of a sudden. and kind of matches the description. So we're looking for um, two males. We're not sure exactly how old they are, um, but they're both wearing dark shoes and they had like white reflective soles. They glowed mm -hmm. in the, the camera images we could see. And one of them looks like he's wearing a white t-shirt over his face. The other has a red sweatshirt or jacket on. Um, so what's interesting is, and we see this all the time, they end up with about $250 worth of alcohol. And you think, oh, okay, that's a pretty good chunk of alcohol. But um, the replacement cost of the window is several thousands of dollars. Oh, my word. Commercial glass is not cheap, especially yeah. double pane, large pieces. It has to meet certain building codes and install price. So, you know, for $250 worth of alcohol, they may cost the business $5,000. Jeez. So, um, not uncommon. So, if anybody knows who these two are, um, we would certainly like to talk to them and figure out um, why they think stealing $250 worth of alcohol was a great idea. Okay, very good. Well, if you recognize these folks, once again, please call police. We'll have that number for you to call. Non-emergency number is okay on this, yes? Or should they call 911? Um, or the station's actually probably the oh, okay. easiest way of doing it. Um, well, we'll give you all the numbers. You can decide. Yeah, go to our website, Anonymous Tips Work. Oh, right. You can even put your name in and not be anonymous. Um, call and ask for a detective unit. Okay. Um, that works as well. Um, we have a lot of incidents. Um, I know people think it's quiet all the time, but... We do respond to many thousands of incidents a year. Yeah. Um, so sometimes call in dispatch, they may just be like, huh, what? Right. Because it's a month ago. Right. So. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. No problem. We'll be back soon with another episode of Ask the Evans Cop.